stuck on lockdown, you can get out front, do your work. 360, 180 drill, here we go. We see a lot of this type of stuff. We'll see this type of stuff. So one of the things, again, we talk about from the 90 degree walk around, now we can do to a 180. So now we can focus on a 360. Okay, so you're gonna see, boom. Okay, so you're gonna notice there's a lot of things going on at 360. Here's one of the things I tend to see in 360s, outside of the foot, squatted and turning like this. Well, we don't throw like this. We throw like this, okay? So the point of today's video is to give you a quick tip to start understanding how to put together a full throw. A lot of you guys, we see a lot of this type of stuff we'll see this type of stuff. And both of these things basically are gonna be incorrect for a couple of reasons. One, if you're coming up, you tend to get this pendulum sweep across the circle, which you don't wanna do. We got a new video coming up on the sweep leg path. When you come down, you usually have to wind up jumping up and the more time you spend in the air, the slower your throw is gonna be, the less distance you're gonna throw. It's as simple as that. So the goal is gonna to be to have the shortest amount of time from coming from the sprint leg to the middle back down to the power position, and that's gonna be the goal. Now that all starts with your ability to come through the axis. You're gonna notice how it's very easy to move when you're doing everything right. Now there's a sequence of how the left arm works. There's a sequence on how the right arm works with that. But for right now, to keep things simple, what you wanna do is stay on the inside of the foot, keep the knees apart, and feel yourself keeping everything out here. You're gonna notice that I'm actively moving the sweep side, right? That's gonna be the key. We have the right position of the foot, the right angle on the entry leg, and then we have the sweep leg wide. If this is the rotational shot, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be a little bit more double rotation, and you're gonna see me kind of here, boom. Boom, right? Because we're in a shorter circle at this point. So we're gonna be here, 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 right? So again, the core mechanics are very similar. They're gonna be more rotational and rotational shots. Smaller circle, implement here, has to be more rotational. Sweep leg path is gonna be slightly different than the discus. Entry arm path is gonna be definitely different than the discus, but the axis of rotation that we're creating here is very similar. It is different too, but it is similar. And the key is learning how to move around that very effectively. And you notice we just covered a lot of stuff. Simple tip for you guys to work at home. This is a great thing. And once you kind of get better at that 90, you go to your 360, and then you can go to step here, okay? So we'll do that one more time. If I'm in the shot, I'll go here and I'll step. Okay. For a lot of you out there that are young throwers that are spending all of your time just doing a stand throw or a half turn, you're just going to throw farther when you do a full throw. We want to encourage you to do that. This is it. We call it pillar one and two. And that is actually, there's a lot of stuff happening there, but setting up that pillar two right so that we can get this pillar three position in, get our knee into the sprint line, into the throw is going to make a huge difference. And that is gonna be the key. I'm here in my driveway. You could do this in your patio. You could do this in a basement. This is key, learning these fundamental things so that when you do have that opportunity to get back into your training, you can actually get tons and tons of quality reps and train new patterns. And that's the goal. That's what we do with the throwing chain reaction system. Again, be sure to check that out. Nice. So again, hopefully you guys like today's video. We wanna hear about some of the challenges you're having with home training for motivation or facilities, whatever. Just remember to become a better thrower is to understand you've gotta learn your technique. That's why we put out the throwing chain reaction system. We have a free mini course. We have free uh, webinars that we've been doing during this quarantine time to help you guys learn more. We're getting, we can go in depth and talk a lot. And that's for you guys that really wanna dive in and learn more stuff. We encourage you to attend. Check the link below for details. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe, stay strong, and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah.